Today, if we talk about the cities, then definitely we will imagine about super tall structures and gleaming glass towers that seem to stretch endlessly to the sky. Great urban skylines are forests of tall steel frame buildings. Super tall structures like Shanghai Tower in China, Burj Khalifa in Dubai, or Petronas Tower in Malaysia are used to announce the emergence of city on the global stage. As of September 2023, 14 cities of the world have more than 100 skyscrapers that are 150 meters tall. Hong Kong has more skyscrapers than any other city in the world. The city's unique geography and economic prosperity allowed it to blossom into skyscraper paradise. More than 552 skyscrapers have been constructed in the city making it the city with the most skyscrapers in the world. Join us as we explore the remarkable revolution of these towering giants. It all started in 19th century when the word skyscraper was first applied to the buildings of at least 10 stories. It was home insurance building in Chicago standing at 42 meters marked the birth of the skyscraper era. But the journey to the sky was not a sudden leap. It was the gradual ascent shaped by technological advancements and visionary architects. For thousands of years, great pyramids of Giza standing at 146 meters were the tallest structures in the world. It was not surpassed in height for thousands of years until the 160 meter Lincoln Cathedral Church in England have exceeded it in 1311. The height was held by a series of churches and it was surpassed by Washington Monument in 1884 and then by the Eiffel Tower in 1889. However, the true dawn of skyscrapers as defined by the Council of Tall Buildings and Urban Habitat can be traced to the construction of Philadelphia City Hall in 1901. Standing at 150 meters, this habitable building marked a new era in architectural achievement. Skyscrapers began to get taller around the turn of 20th century. Throughout the century, the US dominated the race of the skies. Since then, the remarkable number of skyscrapers have graced skylines across 38 cities in the United States. Among these skyscrapers, some have become global symbol of innovation and architectural prowess. These structures not only define cities' skyline but also pioneered new construction methods, particularly with the introduction of tube structural system. This breakthrough allowed the buildings to reach unprecedented heights while maintaining the structural integrity. The climax of this race occurred with the completion of Chrysler Building in 1930, soaring to the height of 318 meters and surpassed by the Empire State Building in 1931, which stood as the world's tallest building for 40 years until the completion of World Trade Center and Willis Tower in Chicago which got the title bit taller. But it was also the end of the era as American cities began to suburbanize and spread out. The US had led the charge of the skies but the rest of the world soon caught up. The center of gravity of tall building construction shifted from US to Asia and to the Middle East and some degree Europe and India. The 442 meters tall Sear Towers stood at the world's tallest building for 24 years, from 1974 to 1998, and it was arched out by 452 meters Patronus Tower in Kuala Lumpur, Malaysia, which held the title for six years. Soon after, in 2004, Tipai 101 in Tipai surpassed the Patronus Tower by soaring a height of 509 meters to become the world's tallest building. This was the first skyscraper to break the half kilometers mark. It retained the title until the Burj Khalifa was completed in 2010, which rises to 828 meters.
In the first two decades of 21st century, the entire world witnessed an uprise of building skyscrapers with increased heights. China emerges as the epicenter of this architectural revolution, with a staggering 52% of all tall buildings in Asia constructed in the last two decades. This boom in construction is driven principally from the China's incredible economic growth, which in turn has driven the largest and fastest rate of urbanization in the world that we have ever seen. In the just 34 years, China has constructed 1978 skyscrapers, more than double of the amount of US has constructed in more than a century. Today, skyscrapers have grown into iconic buildings and almost pose a challenge to modern architects. Super tall and mega tall buildings have become subclasses of skyscrapers, being classified as greater than 300 and 600 meters in height. In 2015 alone, over 106 buildings were built that were over 200 meters tall, surpassing 2014's previous record of 99. Shanghai Tower in China raised to 632 meters and became the China's largest and world's tallest building. It is clear that skyscrapers will only continue to get taller and taller. In 2017, the Seoul has completed that 555 meters lot tower, which became the tallest building in South Korea and the world's fifth tallest building. Recently, 118-story Mega Mall, that is the skyscraper in Malaysia, overtook Shanghai Tower and became the second largest building in the structure in the world. Merdeka 118, constructed with a budget of 1.21 billion to 678 meters, only behind the Burj Khalifa at 828 meters. Nevertheless, Jeddah Tower, formerly known as Kingdom Tower in Saudi Arabia, will surpass the Burj Khalifa by reaching an unprecedented height of 1,000 meters, and it will become the world's tallest building when completed in upcoming years. If you have really liked our video, then please go ahead and share and subscribe to our channel for future videos.